So first off, I do apologize for my previous videos being too bright and I'm hoping that I fix it from now on as you can see in this video. But in this video, what we're gonna be talking about is my new rangefinder for my anamorphic setup. Now one of the main reasons why I bought this rangefinder is because I wanna start using it with my gimbal. As you all know, I have the SLR Magic rangefinder but it's too big for the Ronin S. It's just too front heavy. It's just not going to balance. So I was able to find a smaller version of a rangefinder. Now I was very skeptical about this rangefinder because it's, it's not really like a known source where I got it from. I actually got it from Anamorphic Store on eBay and he also has a website. Uh, I've been watching this rangefinder since version one and he is now selling version two. And as far as I can see, it looks pretty good. Now it's raining outside right now, so I can't do outside tests, so I ended up taking it to breakfast with me. And I'm pretty impressed with it. However, right now there are two things I don't like about this rangefinder so far. And it's one, the focus, the focus is reversed. So I'm used to when I rotate the lens towards right, camera right, that I'm getting closer to my subject, but this is the opposite on this case with this rangefinder. Whenever you rotate camera right, your focus ring, it actually goes to infinity instead of getting close to you. So I'm gonna have to get used to that. And the second thing is, if I use this rangefinder with my anamorphic setup in the Ronin S, I can't have the crazy 3.56 aspect ratio that I've been uploading on YouTube. It's gonna vignette. I'm actually using that rangefinder right now when recording this video. So far, those are the only two things that I don't like with it, but this thing is very lightweight. It, it's pretty impressive. Uh, it has a 58 millimeter back thread and front threads, so they are smaller. Now I can fix the issue of the vignetting at 3.56 aspect ratio by getting a different taking lens, going a little bit to the 85 range, but I don't know. For now, I'm just gonna crop the video, anamorphic videos with, with the Pocket 4K at 2.66 aspect ratio, which I am using right now. So it's not as wide as what I've been uploading on YouTube. I'm gonna try to shoot a skit with this and I really wanna take it to a Christmas market and use a single focus solution when I'm doing my travel videos because double focusing in a crowded area like a Christmas market is just a pain. It's very hard to get focus. So a single focus solution should definitely help me out. 